Good day everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we have the Microsoft Wireless 850 Desktop Keyboard and Mouse Combo. This keyboard and mouse combo is a great budget friendly option if you want to keep control of your PC without the hassle of wires. It's great for use in home theater based computing where you may not always be sitting directly in front of your PC. Let's take a look at the back of the box to see some of the highlights of this project. They highlight that the keyboard has window shortcut keys that provide easy access to commonly used functions. There are also media keys for music and video control uh, built into the keyboard. It also supports the mini transceiver uh, uh, as does the mouse and that is just plugged in via USB. The mouse is designed to be suitable with both left or right hand use. The mouse also has a built-in area for the transceiver to be stored at the bottom. So let's get inside the box to see what we have. Uh, we need to cut open this uh, tape to open the flap. Once it's open, the flap can be opened just by opening the locking clip on the box and then flipping open the lid. After opening the box, uh, you can see the keyboard right in front of you and the mouse on the right hand side with a small area on the top for the other parts that are supposed to be included. Let's take a look at those first. So in this bundle you have the batteries as well as the USB transceiver used uh, to connect this combo to your computer. So first let's take a look at the batteries. Uh, they've provided uh, two Duracell AAA batteries for the keyboard as well as a single Duracell AA battery for the mouse. Uh, the keyboard batteries will last you approximately eight months, uh, but it does vary depending on your usage. Here is the USB transceiver uh, used to connect these key uh, the keyboard and mouse to the computer. Uh, this is paired to this specific set of hardware uh, right at the factory. You need to be careful not to lose the receiver, otherwise this keyboard and mouse will uh, cease to work and also cannot be paired with other devices as it's not a unified receiver. Let's take a look at the mouse now. Uh, it's just in uh, open-ended plastic wrapping and it's just a plastic feeling mouse. It's pretty light without the battery inside and uh, has a glossy piano trim all around the edges. Uh, the click is uh, pretty soft uh, and the mouse kind of, the scroll wheel kind of feels uh, resistive, but it's okay. Uh, there's an on and off switch at the bottom. Uh, I would recommend turning it off when you're not using it. Re reduce the power usage, otherwise the battery would die much faster. Uh, you can open the bottom uh, as such to put the battery inside. This little tag can be used to pop up the battery once the battery is inserted. Uh, it makes it easier to remove the battery. Just uh, follow the instructions how to uh, insert the battery and you should be fine and you should see the light turn on if the switch is powered on. And that's how you take it back out. Once the battery is inserted, you could just close the back and as you can see that empty area in the bottom of the mouse is where you store the wireless transceiver. Uh, as I said earlier, please be careful. You don't, you don't want to lose the uh, transceiver or both the keyboard and mouse will uh, no longer be usable. Uh, let's take a look at the keyboard now. Uh, just like the mouse, the keyboard also is uh, covered in a plastic film, but unlike the mouse, it's not uh, inside a bag or anything. It's just uh, film attached to it that you just uh, slip off and it's protecting the glossy uh, out uh, the glossy face of the keyboard. Uh, as you can see, it's the same piano gloss that the mouse had, but it's all, all over the top face of the keyboard. Uh, the keys are... Uh, Pretty soft, uh, just like the mouse button. Uh, they are uh, rubber dome switches, I assume. Uh, they're not. This is not a mechanical keyboard, so it's it's much more of a softer keyboard. 
uh, but it's great for media consumption and uh, just regular day-to-day -day use, uh, not really for any heavy typing purposes. The letters are printed onto the keys and there is no backlighting or anything like that. Uh, but since it is a wireless keyboard, you shouldn't really expect anything like that. The bottom is white uh, and it's a matte look, so it's not going to have any fingerprints on the bottom. And it does have two uh, stands, so you, you can stand it up if you want. The batteries go at the bottom, uh, the two triple A's. And again, insert them based on the instructions uh, to ensure that they're working correctly. And uh, this should la these batteries should last you much longer than the mouse ones. There's a light on the front, bottom right of the keyboard when it is uh, powered. And this light indicates that it, this light indicates when it's first turned on and also it'll indicate when the batteries are low. Uh, in addition to this, there's uh, the regular manuals that you'd find, a quick start guide and other warranty information uh, from this product. Uh, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. As usual, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. And please share this with your friends. Until next time guys, peace.